hope you're all doing well. So it's been a couple of hours since I last got ready and if you are wondering about what I'm wearing, I will link everything down below in the description box. I hope you all had a great Christmas and Happy New Year! Gosh, I can't believe it's 2021 already. But I'm so happy to have said goodbye to 2020 because that shit was crazy. It's been a while since I filmed a video and I just wanted to come on here to update you guys on where I'm at right now. Just give you guys a little life update, I guess. The reason I've been MIA is because I've been writing my bachelor thesis which literally killed me but it's finally delivered and done with now i'm just patiently waiting for my grade but yeah it's been super stressful writing such a big assignment during the christmas holidays but i am finally ready to get back on track now for the big update i'm actually moving to belgium to study abroad as an exchange student so i'm actually leaving tomorrow and my flight is like at 7 a.m. in the morning so that means I have to wake up no that means I have to leave tomorrow about 5 15 in the morning Ugh, please pray for me I mean like my sleeping pattern has literally gone to shit lately so I don't know what's going on have you guys do you, how's your sleeping pattern I mean I'm just wondering like am I the only one who just can't sleep before like 4 a.m like all i'm doing is just scrolling through tiktok and then suddenly it's 4 a.m tiktok has slowly but surely taken over my life not only have i been working on my bachelor thesis but i have also been planning my move to belgium which honestly hasn't been that easy because of corona of course that's my biggest update for you guys and is where I'm currently at. Oh, and also, I will also try to do like weekly vlogs while I'm in Belgium. So if you're interested in following my journey to Belgium, please subscribe to my channel and click on that notification bell if you want to be notified when I'm posting. And since I'm leaving tomorrow already, I thought that it would be a good idea to start packing all of my makeup. I mean, I am kind of an overpacker when it comes to makeup, so I don't really know what I'm bringing. Um, but I've chosen some pieces out, so I mean, we'll see how it goes. So since I'm going to be packing my makeup, I thought that it would be a great idea to bring you guys with me so you can see how I pack for a big trip like this since I am going to be living there for a full semester, which is about five months. And my boyfriend actually got me the Ally Glines makeup bag, which I've been wanting ever since it launched, which is this huge, beautiful bag that just fits all of my makeup perfectly. And it's this beautiful, like, I would say cool toned pastel blushy pink color. And here you can see her logo up close and you have this beautiful rose gold zipper I just love how this was designed because I mean you have a handle up here so you can literally just bring your makeup like this it's like a small cute briefcase and it's even better on the inside so when I open this up it looks like this so you can just tell how organized your makeup is gonna get in here and you have this great great like plastic pocket over here and the zippers are really great quality so this is what it looks like so you have three beautiful great bags that that literally holds a lot of makeup in here I'll just take one of the smaller ones out I mean, it has such great depth, so you can fit a lot in here. They're also like super sturdy, so your makeup is gonna sit absolutely fine in here and won't budge. So this is what I am bringing with me to Belgium to hold my makeup and it's gonna be super pretty and organized. Okay, I think that's it. So let's just move on to packing my makeup. 
So this is actually how the bag comes in its packaging. It comes with this beautiful, like, silky satin bag. Just take it out like this. And if you want to, you can even store it like standing like this or like so. I just find this bag to be super practical and handy. So let's open this bad boy up. So this is what it looks like on the inside. And as I mentioned, I already picked out some stuff that I want to bring with me, but I'm not sure if I'm able to fit everything that I want in here. Because as I said, I'm an overpacker. I love my makeup. I don't want anything to stay behind. I want to pack everything with me, but that's just physically not even possible. So let's just go ahead and start with the face products. And I'm thinking of having my face products in the bigger bag. So I'm just gonna go ahead and move this away. So let's just go ahead and get started. So for foundations, I really want to bring all of these with me. The first thing that I want to bring with me is the It Cosmetics CC Cream, which is this one right here. It's just such an amazing everyday um, base and it's so light and luminous and beautiful. So that is what I'm taking with me. And for the next product, I'm going to take my ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Acid Tinted Moisturizer, which is this bad boy. So I'm just gonna put it in here, like so. Then we have the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Hydrating Foundation. So that's going in here as well. For the next foundation, I'm taking my NARS Soft Matte Foundation. I'm honestly super surprised by this. Like, um, it's a matte foundation and usually matte foundations don't go well with dry skin like mine. But this one actually works pretty well and I'm not mad at it. But I'm also gonna bring my Urban Decay All Nighter Face Primer. This one I honestly just fell in love with. It really makes my face products go on super smoothly and they last for a very long time. So that's coming with me. I'm also taking my Hollywood Flawless Filter by Charlotte Tilbury. It's so beautiful on the skin. It's not really, it's not really a foundation, but if you want to, you can use it as one, but it doesn't really provide any coverage. But it's just like this super healthy looking glow and it just makes your face look like an angel. So this is definitely going with me. And now I think I'm gonna go ahead and pack all of my compacts just so I can use this space here and so all of these stuff just won't fall back. So now I'm starting off with the Hourglass Veil Translucent Setting Powder, which is such an amazing setting powder. It really provides like this healthy looking glow. So that's going with me and I'm just gonna go ahead and pack it like, like so. Next product I'm taking my Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Skin Perfecting Micro Powder, which looks like this and is honestly the best powder that I've ever tried. It makes your skin look so soft and not dry at all. Next, I'm taking my Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Face Powder. And I'm just placing it right about there. And then I'm taking the Vive Holy Chic Nova Glow Highlighter, which looks like this. Then I'm taking my Mary Luminizer by The Balm, which is honestly one of my OG highlighters. So that is going with me. Then I'm gonna take my e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer with me because I love this stuff. It really fills in the pores and 
makes my foundation and concealer go on super smoothly. Next, I'm taking my Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. So I'm taking this. And I'm also gonna take my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Give Me Sun. I'm also going to bring my Hoola Bronzer by Benefit. Also one of the OGs. Putting it right in there. I'm also taking my ColourPop Flexitarian Super Shock Chic Highlighter. Putting it right in there. I'm also going to take all of my Buxom, what are these called? My Buxom Wonder Lust Primer Infused Blushes. And these I'm just gonna have to pack like this. So you're just gonna go in between everything. It's getting kind of full already, but I'm just missing like some concealers. So for concealers, I'm gonna take with me my ColourPop Pretty Fresh Concealer and my e.l.f. 16 Hour Camel Concealer. And I'm also bringing my Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. This is going to be a tight fit, you guys. For my last three products, I'm going to take my NARS Soft Matte Concealer. And I'm also going to take my Artist Couture the Diamond Glow Powder in the shade Coco Bling. For the last product in the face category, I'm taking my um, Sustainably Gorgeous Lip and Cheek Stain by The Balm. Now let's go ahead and see if this will even close. I mean, that's a super tight fit, but I think we can make this work. Oh my gosh, it actually fit everything in here. So this is how the face category looks like. And I also forgot to mention that I really, really love this clear compartment or like this clear top of the bag right here. So you can, you can see everything that you have with you in here, which makes it super organized and easy to look for whatever product that you're looking for. So now that my face category is done, I can just go ahead and plop this right in here. Now let's go ahead and move on to the, to the eye products. So this bag is going to hold all of my eye products. Okay, let's do this. The first product that I'm going to pack with me is the ColourPop at Forest Sight, which is the Raw Beauty Christie X ColourPop collaboration. This palette is like one of the most gorgeous palettes that I own with such a beautiful color scheme. I mean, look at that, that's so beautiful. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pack it like this, I guess. Yeah. And then I have like five super shock shadows from ColourPop that I want to bring. And I also have a loose eyeshadow from The Balm, which are called The Sex Pots, I believe. And here I also have a Urban Decay, what are these called? I believe these are called their Moon Dust eyeshadows. And this one is in the shade Space Cowboy. So it currently looks like this. And then I have a couple of eyeliners and liquid liners that I want to bring. So I have like three eye pencils and three liquid liners with me. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and put these in the back here. So I think I'm going to put my House of Lashes lash glue on the side here. And also my NYX glitter glue. And I have another eyeshadow by MAC and this one is in the shade Tan. I'm just going to put it on the side here. I'm also going to bring my Anastasia um, brow gel and my Benefit 20 Hour Brow Setter. 
And then I'm also going to bring with me my Urban Decay eyeshadow primer and two of the Urban Decay heavy metal glitters. I'm also bringing my trusty Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in the shade Dark Brown. And for mascaras, I'm only bringing two. My Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara and the Unlimited Mascara by L'Oreal. My last eye product is the Maybelline Lash Sensational Boosting Serum. And I mean, I could even fit more stuff in here, but that's it for now. And then again, you have like this nice overview of what this bag contains. I'm just gonna pop this right in here. The last compartment is for the lips. So here is my lippy bag. And let's go ahead and start with lip liners. Here are all of the lip liners that I want to bring with me, which looks like a lot. And one thing that I noticed is with like a newer lip pencil, like from MAC for example, they don't really fit properly if you just go straight in with them. You kind of have to lie like this. I'm going to go ahead and take the longer ones out of here. And all of these shorter ones should be just fine. So I'm just plugging them up in here like so. And all of these longer ones, I make sure to just crop like so. Lipsticks, I have quite, I have quite a bit. Three lipsticks that I have from Vive, which is Jamie Genevieve's makeup brand, which just launched. Here are all of the lip products that I want to bring. So here I have three Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks that I want to bring. So I'm just going to go ahead and put them right here. And I also have this lipstick from Urban Decay, which is called Hitchhike. I also have a couple of MAC lipsticks that I want to bring. Next, I have a couple of Wet n Wild new repackaged lipsticks. And then we have the Vive lipsticks. And then I have some lip glosses and one liquid lipstick by ColourPop lip gloss from Colourpop from the Frozen collection. One Colourpop Ultra Glossy Lip. Then I have three So Juicy lip glosses from Colourpop. So these are all getting in here. Last but not least, I have the Fenty Beauty Gloss Bomb in Fenty Glow. This is also coming with me, and let's see if it'll close. And here we have all of the lip products. And as you can see, I have quite some space up top here. So here I can try to fit some eyeshadow palettes. Here I want to bring my Soft Glam Palette by ABH. So I'm going to just go ahead and plop that right in there. And I also want to take my Essentials Eyeshadow Palette by Vive. And I'll plop this also right in the back here. And there's also quite some space up top here. So I'm thinking about plopping some of my palettes. The first palette that I want to take with me is the Bare Necessities palette from ColourPop, which is like me in a palette. You have all of the neutrals you could ever want. So I'm taking this with me. And I also have the So Jaded palette by ColourPop, which is the 
Kathleen Light's collaboration. The last palette, I also have the NARS Skin Deep palette. Now, in the clear department up here, I'm going to take some of my hair ties with me. Just fit them in there. My face roller. This spatula thing. I don't really know what these are called, but this is what it looks like. My tweezerman tweezers. And that's that. And for setting sprays, I also want to bring my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. So I'm just placing this here. And my ColourPop Pretty Fresh Setting Mist. I'm also going to bring my Laneige Sleeping Care Lip Sleeping Mask. Oh, and I almost forgot that I also have to have these headbands with me for when I'm applying my makeup to keep my hair out of my face. Now this makeup bag is looking pretty full, so let's go ahead and see if it'll close. Now I have my makeup bag full of makeup and everything fits. Okay, and then we are all set. And I'm also going to be bringing this guy with me. And I mean, you can use this for anything. You can use this as your laundry bag or just store stuff in it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put my bag in this and we're ready to go okay so that's it for me guys if you like this video and if you want updates on how it's going in belgium please subscribe to my channel and hit the notification button so you can get notified for when i post thank you guys so much for watching until next time